Hello and welcome to this tutorial covering how to issue a token on the Pulsera DAX. To get started, log on to dax.pulsera.io and connect your Kepler, Leap, Cosmo Station or other supported wallet. Next, select the Tokens Index tab on the left hand side of the screen. Here on the Token Index, we can see the tokens that have been issued on the Pulsera DAX. Before creating a token, it's important to approach the token issuance process with careful consideration for building a quality project that can enhance the health of the ecosystem and deliver a productive use case. To begin the token issuance process, select Issue Token. Here on the Issue Token page, we can upload a token image, choose a ticker symbol, the subunit, a description of the token, as well as the project's URL. Here in the tokenomics section, we can input the precision, which represents the decimal count of the token supply, the initial amount of the tokens to be issued, the burn rate, which is a number between zero and one that will be multiplied by the send amount to determine the burn amount and will be burnt on top of the send amount, and the send commission rate, which is a percentage multiplied by the send amount to determine the amount sent to the token issuer account. Next, in the Token Capabilities section, we can choose to enable or disable several features that cannot be changed after the token is issued. If the minting feature is enabled, then the issuer of the token can submit a mint transaction to add more tokens to the total supply. If the burning feature is enabled, then every holder of the token can burn the tokens they hold. If the freezing feature is enabled, then the issuer of the token can freeze an account's balance of that token up to a certain amount. The frozen amount can be more than what the user currently holds, and works even if the user does not hold any of the tokens that the issuer issued and wants to freeze. If the whitelisting feature is enabled, then every account that wishes to receive this token must first be whitelisted by the issuer, otherwise they will not be able to receive that token and that account will be able to receive tokens only up to the whitelisted limit. If the IBC feature is enabled, the issuer decides if users may send and receive it over the IBC transfer protocol. If the IBC feature is disabled, the token can never leave the Corium chain to other Cosmos SDK chains. And finally, if the block smart contract feature is enabled, then the token can only be sent to regular user addresses and not smart contracts. However, this does not mean that the token cannot be issued from a smart contract. Once this information, tokenomics and capabilities are configured, next, ensure your wallet contains at least 10 available core tokens. These core tokens will be required as a fee to issue the token on the DAX. Then, select Issue Token at the bottom of the screen and sign the transaction to verify your wallet. Then, select Issue Token once more to sign the token issuance transaction. Once this transaction is signed, the token issuance process is complete. Your issued tokens are available to view by navigating to the Token Index page and also by toggling the switch in the upper right hand corner of the page. So that will conclude today's tutorial covering how to issue tokens on the Pulsera DAX. Thanks for watching.